Well, hello, squirrels, and welcome back to PPM6 TV, where I'm making hay while the sun shines. I have on loan from Martin at soundkit.co.uk the DPA 2017. There are two videos up of that already, but Martin has also lent me um, a, a Rycote HC22. Now, Rycote have such a great reputation in suspensions and windshields. They're a name known to, to everyone. But um, they've recently, well, in the last couple of years, uh, launched out a new series of microphones. It's quite comprehensive. Some of the specs are very impressive. Indeed, the, the self-noise down at uh, eight and a half dB, plus or minus two dB. Interesting that they quote that because I haven't seen many manufacturers quote plus or minus figures on their self-noise. And I think some of them should do. This is all I'm saying. Anyway, an interesting new contender. It's uh, it's an amplifier and uh, detachable capsule and interference tube uh, model. This is a quick video. I'm not going to spend um, a lot a lot of time because time is pressing. I have to get the stuff uh, back to Martin so he can return it. Uh, thanks to Rycote and to DPA for helping out. So here we are on axis, quick off axis. DPA 2017 off axis and as you know, uh, well you know if you've watched the other video, DPA make much of their uh, rotational uniformity. In other words, as you rotate the microphone, you should not get any um, differing in the off axis quality um, because of different shapes of tubes or whatever. They've worked uh, very hard on that. And here we are off axis into the Rycote. Now, unlike the um, uh, DPA, the Rycote does have blanks, i.e. sides of the uh, interference tube without a slot. Um, who knows? I mean, I've never really found anybody who, who really is an expert on interference tube characteristics. So if you are an expert on interference tube characteristics, please do come and give me a shout. Uh, round to the back now. Uh, DPA are keen to shout the advantages of uh, their engineering in terms of the rear lobe. And uh, this is a chance for us to find out whether all that engineering is paid off. Now, I'm sure the guys at Rycote have also uh, put a lot of work into their rear lobe. And here's your chance to compare the two. Back round the front for the finale and the all important information on price. And the uh, Rycote has a handy advantage. I would say, street price is always hard to tell, but I would say maybe as much as 200 uh, currency units, dollars, pounds, euros, um, over the DPA. It's, it's quite a bit cheaper. Um, of course, in a sense, it's a little bit of an unknown quantity. Um, Rycote's uh, first venture into microphone making, but they seem very serious. They have a whole range uh, of microphones, not just uh, gun mics. Um, and so it's really one to watch. DPA, of course, been in the business a long time. I have got people asking me, can I try the 4017 if I can get my hands on one and a 2017 at the same time? Of course I will. So look out for that. Thanks for dropping by. It's been great to have you. Do subscribe. It does help. Come back soon. Bye for now.